Today we're going to kick things off using Cinema User and BT2020 on the LG C1. I'm going to go ahead and use my remote and type in 11131111. Now this is just to further debunk a claim from HDTV test saying that, you know, you shouldn't use these features because they basically destroy the image quality. Here you're seeing a very beautifully saturated face, a wonderful image on the LG C1. Again, this is only possible if you know what you're doing. Now, the point of this video isn't really to air out HDTV tests, but rather to correct the very harmful misinformation that you can't use this feature because it will just destroy everything. With a little bit of work and knowledge, you can get very wonderful results. And that's what I like to show off here on this channel. Now, another thing that I kind of wanted to point out is the difference between out-of-the-box settings, like something like what you'd find on HDTV test or digital trends or ratings.com, even though they don't add the A, you know, it's it's something I want to show you guys because if you're creative and you break from 30 year old standards, you're able to achieve a lot. So here we are in BT 2020. I'm going to show you what they recommend you do. They recommend you turn that off and go to, you guessed it, Rec 709. And there it is, BT 709 in all of its glory. It's faded, it's ugly, it's desaturated, but this is the color space from HDTV. This is the old standard that you were trying to upgrade from. By limiting your color space, you're doing a couple things. You're really just taking away from any immersion that you could really feel in your films, in your gaming, and really almost everything that matters. And I honestly don't recommend that you do stuff like that. Now, I think that when you go to BT2020, you're going to see a huge leap forward, even on something that's not necessarily 12 bits, so to speak, because this TV is capable of 10 bits, and it is driving those colors to their threshold, giving you beautiful saturated image quality, as you guys can clearly see. There is a massive difference when you're using it versus not using it. And again, the, the, the C series of televisions in general, from the C10 to the C1 now, are capable of this. Even, you know, from the 10 series onwards are capable of this, right down to the B series, right? I think if you're serious about getting the best out of your OLED, you will try to get creative with BT2020 because going down to this desaturated color is not ideal. And again, we can go to the ISF picture presets, right? We're in a darker room, so we'll do the dark one, right? And again, it's just dim, it's dark, it's faded, it's void of any real life. Now I want you to watch what happens when we type in 1113111 to activate the HDMI signaling override. Then we go over and we select BT2020. Once we do that, color is restored. It's almost like you're taking what is almost a black and white image and you're making it a color image again. That's how bad by comparison what they recommend for you to be watching is. And I'm not doing this again to make anybody feel bad or or to put anybody out. This is literally just to uh, help you guys get the most out of your experience. Now, there's no secret. I run a channel here where I'm a truther. I love putting out information, and so that's what I'm doing here. Now, I'm going to show you guys another example. We're going to kill the menus, and I'm going to show you the BT2020. So here we are with this incredible scene in Jurassic World. This scene is one of the cornerstone scenes that a lot of people would watch and be truly blown away by the effects as the volcano explodes in the background. Now because of copyright laws, I'm not able to show this movie or this clip in its full regality, or if that's even a word, but majesty, let's go with that. That's the word we're gonna go with, okay? But you guys get my point. I'm not able to show the full majesty of what I'm trying to explain here through clips from copyrighted content, but I can show you the stills and I can show you pause frames of movies. And I just wanted to show this because this is going to be so clear as to the big difference that I'm always talking about on this channel. I want you to pay attention to the fire. I want you to see how the fire is literally like just so vibrant. You can see like the embers. It's just clear, right? So if we open up our picture settings yet again, and then we go over and hover over the select mode, then we type in 1113111 for the HDMI signaling override menu. Then we disable BT2020 and put it in 709 like it is by default, clear everything out. You guys are going to see in real time just how washed this is. I mean, you guys see the fire now is greenish in hue. Everything has a more greenish hue to it, including the dinosaur. Now, a lot of people say this is how the content was made, so this is how it should look. That's the director's intent. I am here to tell you that every single cinematographer, director, 
uh, creator of any kind does not trump, number one, what your eyes see and know to be real, and number two, what honestly would look more realistic if you were to look at fire. When I look at fire, there's no green haze or green hue to it. There is no pollution of any kind to it. And there's no amount of calibration that can get out all of the desaturated look that you're going to find on an out-of-the-box picture. So it's important to have somebody that knows how the science works and how to dial in your TV or learn about it yourself. Now, I have settings here for my channel members. It's no secret. You can join and you can get the best settings you've ever seen on a C1 or you can try your hand at learning. But my point is I really want you guys to be creative because as you guys are clearly seeing here, you do it one more time, go one, 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 three, one, one, one. We're gonna keep it in BT 2020 so you guys can see that when we go to BT 2020, it's a night and day difference that the shift in color and everything is just so much better. And now it looks like we're watching a, a movie made for our 10-bit displays versus something from 30 years ago. Now to further drive home the difference between out-of-the-box settings versus being creative and making something that you know looks good is this right here. So if you thought the last example was maybe a little biased because I cherry-picked maybe the Jurassic World or whatever the case may be, here's a demo from Hisense, completely different manufacturer, and you're seeing even with facial skin tones like this for something that's been color graded in post-production and made to really showcase what the TV's colors were capable of, it's gonna look far worse when you put it in the default versus trying to actually optimize the content. So here we have BT2020 selected. We're gonna go ahead and turn it back to Rec 709, which is the default. As you guys see, it's set to auto. Notice how green her face gets. These are the real world changes. This is the real time cause and effect of what will actually happen if you listen to those so-called experts. The experts of today are holding on with standards from yesterday. And I'm telling you right now, you need you somebody that understands what picture quality is capable of today so you don't rock an ugly image like this with auto, which is the Rec 709 or BT 709. And you can go into BT 2020 instead and experience the glory of her face. Now she's back from the morgue. Her lips now have blood flowing through them once again. She has vitality and life and is ready to rock and roll and live her happy life. But if you were to listen to these industry purists, you're going to be killing off everything that you watch. And that's essentially what it looks like. With minor white balance adjustments here and there, you're never going to see the same level of color purity and accuracy the way we see it with our real eyes. Again, the whole idea with forcing a color space is to transform Rec. 709 content into something more transformative. Industry creators use advanced techniques. And I say this as somebody who dabbles in being a kind of like enthusiast slash colorist, if you will, on the side as a hobby. And I'm telling you, go, don't, don't believe me go out, buy yourself DaVinci Resolve, hell, download the free version, you can do something called a color space transform, which is essentially what we're doing here, where you're taking washed out, ugly Rec. 709 content, and by forcing a more saturated color space on it, you are unlocking the full potential of that content piece. Again, you're not gonna destroy or damage the TV by doing this, you're just going to experience more out of your TV in the long run, and that's something that I want everybody to be able to see, a beautiful, dignified image. Something like this versus something ugly and dead like this. The differences are day and night. So if you've ever heard anybody criticizing Quantum TV for putting out killer settings to transform your TV, understand that honestly speaking, nine times out of 10, it's somebody that was misdirected by HDTV test. I'm gonna show you this in real time using another example. And I love being very thorough like this to totally debunk the misinformation. Because here we go, now you see we're, we're in Rec. 709 right now. This is what HDTV test and all of the so-called top experts, the know-it-all guys, you can't find any anybody more knowledgeable, right? That's the narrative on Reddit and from a lot of the purest crowd out there. But when you see the results in real time, it just may shock you because when we go to BT 2020, bam, there it is, real color, and Aquaman now looks like Aquaman instead of, you know, the great value version of that. 
And again, the colors are placed perfectly. His face is lit properly. Everything makes sense the way it's supposed to. Then we open up our our HDMI signaling override again by doing the 1113111 code. And I'll try it again. And there we go. And we can just turn it off and you can have it on auto or force it to BT709, which doesn't matter because they're the same thing, right? And this is what they want you to watch. So again, I'm doing this to help you. I'm doing this to educate. I really hope this video spreads far and wide and people understand that when Vincent made that video, either he's just doing that to wrongfully discredit Quantum TV because he's mad about being called out for accepting VIP treatment for LG and being a paid shill, or he really just isn't an expert at all and has no idea how the science works. That being said, either way, I'm not here to put him under the bus, but to empower you. And if that did that, and if I've done that today, I hope you'd smack a like on this video and, you know, rock out with better color. Thanks so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Join, become a member if you're interested in my settings to get the look that I have. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.